all right welcome back to a brand new video in this video i'm going to teach you all how to register commands for your plugin so the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to go into our plugin.yml file okay remember this plugin.yml file gives you a bunch of information about the plugin it tells spigot everything that it needs to know about your plugin and this is where we're going to define our commands so we're going to go ahead and use the commands property, okay? And then we're going to hit enter. And on our next line, we're going to specify the name of our command. So let's say if I want to, you know, build some random command, maybe like a custom TP request command. So I can go ahead and just call this uh, TP request. And then we'll go ahead and uh, do colon, hit enter. And then we're going to give it a description. And we'll just say uh, requests a teleport, okay, um, to user. And then what we can do is we can give it some aliases. So we can use the aliases property. And we can just go ahead and on the next line, we can do TPR, TP rec, you know, just some simple ones, right? And then if you want to set permissions, you can. I'm not going to do that right now. We'll save that for another video. And then we can also specify the usage. So this is just a short description of how to use this command. So we'll just say slash command and then username. Okay. So that's pretty much it when it comes to commands. Okay. So now that we have set up our command, let's see what's going on over here. Uh, okay. So now that we have our command set up in the plugin.yml file, uh, let's go ahead and see if it actually works. So we'll package our uh, code. And then that should automatically generate it inside the plugins folder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type reload. And uh, let's see. We should be able to see our plugin, our plugins uh, command somewhere. So let's do help my plugin. And you can see that our command is in fact right over here. Uh, so let me, you know what? Let me log into my server. Okay. And I'll show you how this works. So um, yeah, so I'm on my server right now. As you can see, I can do slash TP request like that. And then there we go. I can pass in arguments. And you can see that uh, it tells me TP request username. So right now, I think it's sending back the usage to me. But don't worry, I'll show you how we can actually handle this command because we're not really doing anything right now. We only have the command uh, recognized by Spigot, but we aren't applying any logic. Okay, so let me exit from the server. And let's go back to our code. So in order to actually handle the logic of the command, we need to override a method called on command you know what let me actually just remove this let me hit Control o and i'm going to select on command okay and basically this uh this method will be invoked whenever it whenever a command is sent to the server okay or whenever we execute a command so uh there's four uh, arguments the first argument is the source of the command sender so whoever sent the command is basically what this argument is the second argument is the command instance. So that just gives you the information about the command that was executed. Uh, the third argument is label. So that's just if you use aliases. So we actually set that over here. We have TPR, TP rec. Um, so that's just the alias. And then the last one are the arguments of the command. So if you pass an arguments for the command, you can grab that from this array. So uh, the return value of this command is a Boolean. So that just basically indicates whether or not the command was successful. So if it returns true, that means the command was successful. If it returns false, the command failed to execute. Okay, so let's just comment this out and I'll just manually return true for now. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and just log stuff to, the, to our console just to show you how this works. So I'm gonna reference sender.getName and I'm going to concatenate it with a string, and I'll just say the, the sender, the name of the sender, issue the command, and we'll go ahead and log the uh, the command's name just to show you how this works. Oh, actually, the first argument is supposed to be the level 
and then we'll pass that as a second argument. And we'll just return true just to show you what happens. So let's package our command and we'll reload the server. And let me just go ahead and op myself and set the game mode of myself to creative. Uh, let me go into my server real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the TP. You can see that uh, my aliases are down over here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that I can issue this command. Uh, and let's look at the console real quick. You can see that in the console, it says host my Twitch. So that's my username issued server command. And then the name of the command. Okay. Um, cool. And if I were to try to use it here, it would say console because that is the person that's the that's the source of the command. And it says issue the command TP request. So that's great. So we know that our command is in fact working. We know that the on command method is in fact working as well. Okay. So um, if we wanted to get the arguments of the command, we could, right? I could just simply uh, do something like for string arg of args. I think it's arg. Sorry, I'm not really, I haven't coded in Java for a while. So I had to remember how that enhanced for loop works. But we can go ahead and just get all the arguments that are being, uh, that are being passed. Okay, so let's package everything again. Let's reload the server. Okay, so let's do TPR and then let's just pass in a bunch of arguments. And if we look at the console, you can see that, um, let's see, it is logging all of the arguments that we're passing in. So let's try this again. One, two, three. And you can see that it's logging all the arguments. So that is how you can get the arguments of the command. Okay, so essentially what you could do is you could use those arguments to perform whatever operation that you needed, right? Let's say if you're building a simple TP request command, what you could do is you could get that username. You could check to see if the user, if the username, if the user's online, and if the user's online, you could teleport the user to that user. Okay, so that is pretty much it when it comes to commands. So uh, I, you can imagine that you, there's endless amounts of things that you could do. Um, when it comes to building commands, but I just want to show you how you could register a command, how you can handle logic, and how this on command method works. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.